Eight Hour on. What was the Taco Bell story? Oh, no, don't need to know that one. <laughs> okay, we're with Jerry Matthews here. Okay. Uh, and go ahead and tell us what we're going to do. Okay, what we're going to do is look at uh, belt deflection. It's one of the most commonly overlooked uh, uh, things on a snowmobile that I see, and it really makes a big difference as far as performance what you're going to see on the snow and it's free it's free horsepower that you're gaining here so uh, what we're looking at here this is a new sled and I like to see the belt deflection be about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half so obviously you can see we're a lot more than that on our belt deflection on this sled so um, a good rule of thumb inch and a quarter somewhere in there or if you can get the uh, uh, belt deflection as tight as possible without the uh, uh, drive clutch squeaking on the uh, uh, belt or without the sled trying to take off at an idle, that's where you want to be. You want to be as tight as you can get it. How you adjust the belt deflection is right here. Um, takes a 7 16 wrench and uh, a 1 8 um, set screw. So, uh, Allen head. so I can get in. Essentially, we're going to break it loose, and I need to uh, get the belt to ride higher, so I'm going to turn it in a counterclockwise direction. About one turn is where we'll, we'll start. Once you do that, just pull the belt through the clutch again. Might help if the brakes are locked. to let the clutch snap back in. See how much better our belt deflection is right there? That's about what I want to see. The reason belt deflection is so important is because if you're loose on your belt deflection, the drive clutch shifts part way before the driven even engages, before it even starts turning. And so your weights are out of position uh, via the roller. You don't have as, it's not as effective uh, at transferring the horsepower on the low end. And then your top end speed is uh, reduced as well because at full shift out on the drive clutch, the driven clutch still isn't shifted out all the way. And so you can, act, what we did there probably gained us somewhere in the five to seven mile per hour range on top end speed, just simply from shift ratio. So that's belt deflection in a nutshell. And it's pretty common for those to come right out of the crate. Yeah, it's fairly okay. common to come right out of the crate like that. And I've seen them anywhere from, you know, set properly like this all the way out to maybe to where I had to change it a couple of turns on the adjuster. Uh, as your belt wears, your belt deflection will grow, so it'll get wider. Um, so you need to check this periodically. I'd say probably uh, every other ride, if you're riding it really hard, you should be checking your belt deflection and resetting it.